Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Time here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video is going to be a quick start guide for a completely new player who's just getting into Black Desert to give them all the important information and the most critical things they need to know to get started playing this game. So because this is so beginner focused, there is a lot of detail that'd be left out in this video. Do note that I have over 200 guides on my YouTube channel specifically targeted for newer players. So if you want any more information on a topic you see in this video, or if you want more information about different aspects in general, check out this playlist, check out the videos on my channel. I'm sure I have the answer for you. And if I don't, let me know and I'll make a video on it. And with that shameless plug out of the way, quickly before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching these videos on the channel already and you still haven't subscribed yet, consider it please. Helps grow my channel and I'm pushing for 100k. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start off in character creation. So when you first load into Black Desert, you obviously aren't going to have any characters. You're going to have to hit this plus button down here in the corner to make a character. You'll hit yes, and it'll bring you to the character selection interface. From here, you'll have to choose what class you want to play. There are a lot of options. So the super majority of the classes right here have two weapon options available to you. So yeah, you have a ton of variety to pick from right here. My recommendation is to thumb through these different characters right here, find some that you like, take a look at their two different weapon specializations, see which one fits your playstyle the best, or make a short list of them, then take a trip to YouTube and check out some further gameplay of those classes. You're going to want to make sure you find a class that you really enjoy, because Black Desert is a marathon, not a sprint. If you don't like what you're playing, you're probably going to get bored and quit. That being said, you can also have multiple characters, so don't feel locked into playing one character at all times. And if you're just looking for the YouTuber recommendations here for a completely new player, if you're interested in the melee playstyle, I would highly recommend the Guardian right now. Very, very simple playstyle to learn, and it has amazing survivability for a new player. You have lots of healing and lots of defensive capabilities. It makes playing the game fairly easy for a new player. And if you're looking for a ranged playstyle, the Wizard and Witch are both very strong characters for a new player as well. They have tons of healing built into their kit, so once again, they're very easy to stay alive with in the game. All three of those characters are relevant in pretty much all content in the game as well, so it's a great starter character for anybody. After you've selected what you're going to play, you can go through the crazy insane amount of character customization that's available in this game. I'm not going to go through all of it. Just want to point out Beauty Album down here in the bottom corner. You can look at the highest rated downloaded characters in the game and just copy presets from other players if you don't want to deal with all of this. So after that, you're going to have to name your character, and then you're going to have to decide what type of character it's going to be. For your very first character, I would highly recommend making a seasonal character. It's a feature that's rotating every three months. Every three months, you can create a new season character, but only one. You can think of a season character as sort of a catch-up mechanic, right? It's going to help you to catch up to the current players a lot quicker. It has faster progression, faster gear, bonus EXP. Great system for your first character when you're just getting into the game. Once again, every three months, you can make a new one of these. Since I already made mine for this period, I can only create a normal character, but this is where you would select that option. So now that we're in game, let's briefly mention servers. When you first started up the game, you had to pick what server you wanted to play on, and I'm going to be totally honest with you, it doesn't particularly matter what server you pick. Just a couple things to know. If you're a seasoned character, you have access to the seasoned servers. PvP is disabled in the seasoned servers, except for the PvP server. Also, as a new player, you have access to the Olvia servers for 30 days. PvP is once again disabled in these servers. For every other server that you see on this list, you can get PvP'd starting from level 50. Your level is in the top left corner of the screen up here. Generally speaking, nobody does PvP unless you're in each other's way. So as a new player, you shouldn't really have to worry about this. And in fact, you probably won't have to worry about it for a while. Servers tell you how populated they are in general, located right here. There are three tiers. There is a blank, there is a crowded, and there is an overrun. Another thing to stay away from as a new player are going to be servers with these little crosses right here. Stay away from those. And servers with green circles. I'm not even going to bother explaining those to you because they're way far in your adventure. Just know that you don't want to be there right now. Every 15 minutes, you can swap servers, so you don't have to worry about being locked into the server. All you need to do is press the escape key on the keyboard and click the switch icon at the top of your screen, and you can swap freely. So your server selection at the start does not really matter. Anyway, now that we are in-game, let's take a look quickly at the UI. In your top right corner of the screen, we have a map. Below that, you're going to have your quest log. Along the bottom, you have your hotbar, which you can socket with any skills that you want, and we'll get into the skill menu in a second. Some fast access icons that you might have some use for are located in the bottom right corner. Ones of note are the challenge menu, which are a bunch of free things you're going to get for logging in as you play. The mail icon, where any rewards that get mailed out will be sent to. The friends list, which are the two hands shaking, so you can add your friends. And the black spirit safe, where a ton of other rewards will be located. The bottom left hand corner has the chat log in the game. And the top left corner has your current level, your HP, your mana slash resource, whatever your character uses. 
and icons dictating the location of various items in the game. We're not going to go too in depth into these. As you progress, you'll probably know what you're looking for and be able to look it up on my channel. Above your HP bar, there are three other sets of icons. The first icon are your skill points. These are the currencies that you use to level up your skills. You gain a certain amount of skill EXP, which is this percentage right next to it, for killing various items around the world. The second one is your energy. Energy is used for life skilling. You'll gain energy by talking to people. And the third option are contribution points. Contribution points are used to expand storage in cities, as well as provide passive income in the game. We'll touch on these briefly later on as we go. But that's your general UI interface there. The escape key opens up the pause menu, and there's a lot of crap in here to keep track of. Generally speaking, you're not going to have to do much with these. One thing I do want to point out, though, is a new player, you have access to a value pack, which is a cash shop buff. It gives it to you for two weeks. So if you get in game and don't like how your character looks, you can actually change your character's appearance for these first two weeks by going to the beauty album option, which is located under the character option, and then beauty. You'll have to be in a city to use this though, but it takes you back to character creation and you can recreate your character. So we mentioned skill points a second ago. The skill menu is open by pressing the K key on the keyboard. Here you will see all of the skills that your character can learn, and it can be overwhelming at first. You can click on any skill and see a preview of that skill, and you can see which skills chain together and connect to each other by the lines that are connected to them. As we mentioned earlier, in character selection, you have a main as well as an awakening specialization. So you can see the two different weapons that your character is going to have, as well as animations and different attacks that they can do. The skill descriptions can be very confusing to begin with. Don't worry about these as you're first starting out. Just know that more percents and more times is are going to do more damages. As you refine your gameplay in Black Desert, you'll learn what a lot of the other stuff is. But really, for a new player, just big numbers, more damage. As we can see outside of the skill menu, there is a hotbar along the bottom. You can socket many of your skills into that hotbar by clicking and dragging on the skill. Skills in which you can do this have a yellow box around them. So if I click and drag on this skill, I can drop it onto the hotbar. Whereas this skill right here that doesn't have that yellow box around it, I cannot drag it onto the hotbar. Using abilities is also pretty simple. If you drag them all onto the hotbar, you can just push the corresponding key to do the ability. So for that one, it's number two right there or every single skill has a keyboard and mouse input. So you can see that this one is left or right plus right mouse button, and it does the same skill. Using a skill from the hotbar sometimes makes it slower than if you were to cast it manually, and it also uses slightly more energy or resource or whatever your mana is up there. So when you're first starting out, it's okay to put stuff on the hotbar, but as you get better and play your class more, try to learn your combos. To aid you in learning your combos, if you press the escape key on the keyboard and click the edit UI icon up here, you can click the option right here that says skill guide, and then save this into any one of the presets. This will bring up a user interface that shows you different combos that your class uses, and it will also list the name of the skill over here, so you can start to learn what the different skills your class are and what they use. The map is accessed by pressing the M key on the keyboard, and when you first open it up, it's gonna be a lot less filled in than this. This game is absolutely massive. This map is insane. It probably takes an hour, honestly, to go end from end. There's even another small little island continent way across the ocean. So yes, there's boats. You can get boats and sail and all that fun stuff in this game. You're going to be spending a lot of time using this and navigating. So to make your life a little bit easier, you can place a waypoint anywhere on the map by right-clicking. This will place a waypoint marker on the ground. This waypoint marker is then visible in-game and you can see it. You can set your character to auto-run to that location by pressing the T key on the keyboard. If you need to find a specific character in game to do something, it is the find NPC function in the top right corner. So next to the mini map, there's a little hourglass. You can type in any NPC that you're looking for. So like if you're looking for a blacksmith, you can find all the different blacksmiths in the game by doing that. Also, there's quick options right here that are frequently searched for. So once again, that blacksmith option would be repair. With all that UI crap out of the way, let's get into actually playing through the story. To get started with Black Desert Story, you're gonna press the comma key on the keyboard to bring up the black spirit. This is your black spirit and think of them as your like quest guide as you play through the game. Main quests are located under the main quest tab. Additional side quests that you can do are under the quest tab. So when you're first starting out, try to play through this main quest line. If ever you get lost and don't know what to do, talk to that kid and he'll help you there. To view where you are in the main quest line, if you press the O key on the keyboard, it will bring up the quest log. From here, you can click the main tab and see all of the main quests that you have to play through. The story in this game takes a significant amount of time. As far as gear progression goes, playing through the story is going to award you different weapons as well as upgrade materials. Upgrades are conducted from the Black Spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, the Enhancement tab, and then clicking on the piece of gear you want to upgrade along with the relevant upgrade material. I have a full-on guide about upgrading gear for a newer player, so feel free to check that out. It's a longer guide, and I'm not going to do a full one in the middle of this. But that's where you go to do those upgrades. So by now, your screen's probably gotten about a thousand messages pop up in the middle of that. To disable those, press the escape key on the keyboard, navigate to the settings menu, 
click on the general settings option, followed by alerts, and then turn all of these off. J just turn them all off up here. While we're in the general settings menu, head on over to the show hide section and make sure that these two options are set. Attack decisions show you when you're getting critical hits and whatnot, and they're useful as you learn to play your class, as well as defense icons. Defense icons will show you when you're using skills that would protect you from damage otherwise. So you'll start to learn which skills make you stronger while fighting. After those settings have been changed, if you're back in the escape menu, there's another thing to show here, and that is under the reward tab, and that is the Black Spirits Adventure. This is basically just free crap every single day. Just click this button and roll your die and get your free crap. All that stuff shows up in the Black Spirits safe. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, if you press the I key, it's going to open up your inventory as well as your gear. As you're playing through Black Desert, you're going to probably amass a bajillion different items and wonder what to do with them. One solid option for that is to place them at any storage keeper in the game. These can be found with the Find NPC function, followed by Storage. If you go up to that NPC and click on the Storage option, you will only have a limited number of slots that you can put stuff in. These slots can be expanded by buying houses in whatever city you're in. So in this case, I'm in the city of Heidel. If I click on the city, you can use those contribution points that I was talking about earlier to buy houses that increase your storage. So you just click the buy button instead of sell, it would say buy. And I'll give you one guess as to whose YouTube channel has guides on that. Another common feature about the storage keeper that new players miss out on is usually this currency exchange tab. While playing through the story, you are going to get gold bars. You can sell the gold bars to this NPC right here. Any storage keeper will take these. Make sure to check your inventory so they go into your inventory. So storage inventory space is not shared between locations. You can view all of the different locations in the game and see what you have stored at all of these locations, but these are not shared. You have to physically go to the storage keeper to redeem these items or to get them out of storage. There is, however, a shared storage, and that is this warehouse button right here. This is your central market warehouse, and anything in this warehouse can be accessed by any of your characters from anywhere. To place items into the central market warehouse, you just click on your storage inventory or your personal inventory, and then click the item and tell how many you want to drop. You can do the same thing with money. So if I wanted to put like 10 million silver in, I just type it in and hit go and it gets added to the warehouse. You can buy items from the central market by pressing the escape key on the keyboard and clicking the central market button. From here, you can search through the filters using all these different things if you're trying to find a specific item. Or if you're trying to find an exactly specific item, you can just type in the item. So for example, if I wanted a sword, I could find them all right here. So just as similarly as you could buy something from the central market, you can also sell stuff on this menu. Anything that you deposited into this shared warehouse can be sold. If you click on an item, all you do is click it, click the price you want to sell it for, and click the amount you want to register. When you're registering an item, or when you're buying an item, you're going to see this menu over here on the right. Anything that says listed means that there are currently this number listed at this price. So if you were trying to buy this, you could buy it instantly at that price. Likewise, on the sell side, if you're trying to sell something, there are orders currently priced at these values, which means somebody put a pre-order in. They didn't want to spend this much money, so they said, I'll pay $15.60 for it. And they're waiting for somebody to come through and say, yeah, I'll sell it for that price instantly. You're going to want to get used to using that central market because you're going to use it a lot in this game. There's also a dedicated NPC for this. And it is the marketplace NPC. So if you click that icon, it will take you to the closest one. So I think that pretty much covers all of the major questions you're going to have first starting out in this game and just generally getting started playing it. The only other question that's going to be in your mind is what the heck do I even do in this game, Levi? And the answer is whatever the heck you want to do. Black Desert is an open world sandbox MMORPG. There are tons of things to do. The general gameplay arc of Black Desert is that you go out and do some sort of money making activity. You use that money to improve your gear so that you can make more money in the same amount of time and you continually do that over and over again. In between that, you have things like PvP encounters with other players or you have sanctioned PvP events like Red Battlefield, Node Wars, Siege Wars, world bosses that spawn at specific times all around the world or personal world bosses that pop up. But your primary money-making activities are going to be some form of life skilling or some form of killing different things in the game. So if you're a big fan of the combat system in Black Desert and you end up really liking the playstyle of whatever class you chose or whatnot, Grinding stuff is probably going to be the option for you, and likewise most players are going to do some grinding at some point in the game. However, there's an entire other aspect to this game called life skilling, which involves tons of different activities like gathering various things. You can go around cut trees, pick flowers, all sorts of crap like that. You can go fishing, you can buy a boat and go fishing, you can go fishing off docks, all sorts of things like that. There's hunting in this game, you can go and hunt various animals out in the forest or fields. Cooking is pretty much the same thing that's in every other game, you cook stuff and you make food and you sell it. Alchemy is a similar concept. You make potions and whatnot, and you can use them or sell it. Processing raw materials that you gather into higher tiered materials. You can get horses, train horses, and create a horse breeding empire. Trade goods between cities. Create your very own farm, like physical garden farm, and grow plants and crops and stuff used in other life skills. 
get a boat and sell stuff on your boat. It just straight up amazes me the number of things that you can do in this game and all the different activities you can do. One minute you can be fighting 30 other players in a heated PvP battle. You can go and chillax and do a bunch of combat against some various mobs located throughout the world. There's all sorts of different enemies to fight, different types and whatnot that you can play all throughout the areas. Then you can hop on your boat and start sailing between some islands and do some exploring on your boat or some fishing. There's just so many different things to do. And, and really, if you can't find something that you enjoy in this game, uh, I, I apologize for trying to hype it up so much because there's got to be something you're going to like with Black Desert. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. So I do hope it's going to prepare you for your long journey here in Black Desert. I do hope you're going to have fun with it. And once again, if you are new to this game and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider it. I've got new videos coming out every day during the week, and I live stream every single weekend over on Twitch. So you can get a hold of me, ask any types of questions you may have at either of those sources. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Once again, I will see you the next live stream over on Twitch, next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Dice.